Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 6-4. We start this part. It's got fire bars. The introduction to them, they hurt if you touch them. Because they're made of fire. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, you can get that coin two ways. You can either um, do a tricky jump on this side by wall kicking like that, or go around the fire bar side. I think they wanted you to do the fire bar side though. Maybe they thought this jump was impossible or something because of that ceiling there, but it's not. <laughs> Maybe they didn't play test it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, when you want to avoid fire bars like that, you got to go underneath by pressing down. Just gotta time yourself well, and you should be good to go. Just watch the fire bars and you'll be fine. They are a, I guess you could say a non-enemy enemy with a very specific pattern. So as long as you watch the pattern, you'll be able to uh, time yourself to get past them properly. And, uh, something, something like the music changed for some, some reason for a second there. I don't know why. Anyway, use that block to get up here. Oh. <laughs> I just duck quacked. Mm. Go in this corner. Duck. Safe. And coin two. Coin three is in a uh, awkward spot, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh wait, no, it's not. You just gotta climb up to the top of this mountain area here. Like rather than take the lower route, you wanna take the higher route because you know, down is death, even when it means. Coin collecting. So yeah, make traverse these. Don't fall. Don't fall. And here's a pipe. See that? There's another pipe down there. Uh, a yellow pipe. That lead to the way back. Actually, look out! Look out! Look out for the hot foots. And you gotta use the yellow pipe to go back. But going back through this area is much much easier because you can just do this rather than having to jump over the fire bars. And this is where the pipes. Um, Come back together. This is see that that's the um, path I jumped up from, or jumped up to, excuse me. And then this green pipe leads to the end of the level. Now beware, there is yeah one of these things. But this this is a really difficult one up to get. <laughs> you got to do this duck jump. Oh, got it. <laughs> Like a pro! Though I was probably better off with the 8,000 points. Because <laughs> I'm at 99 lives. Alright. 6 dash tower 2! Starts! Yeah, two towers in here. With this. Oh, great, there's a hammer brother at the start. And why did I do that? I don't. <laughs> there's just some decisions I make. That I'm like, why? Just why? And why? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Do I want that? Maybe. Uh, I do need a mini mushroom for a later level, but that wouldn't help me here. So I think I'm going to save, well not save that, I'm going to leave it, but uh, yeah. Sorry mini mushroom, but your services are not needed at this time. Uh, is it? Is this jump possible? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. I don't know why I was having difficulty with it, but yeah. Um, if you hit the... Mm, mm, nope. Let, mm, Mm, hit that in there. You'll get coinages. <laughs> yes. Mm, that's a lot of time wasted, though. <laughs> uh, wait, where is the? There it is. I was gonna say. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was towards the right side, but I didn't know where it was. Like how high it was up on the tower. Excuse me. And oh. Obviously, you gotta be careful of those spikes when you grab the coin. I was a little bit reckless there and rushed to jump. Oh! No chances. <laughs> Gimme. Yeah. And you're going down. Oh, jeez. Super dry bones. From the heavens. I think I spawned it when I came up here for a brief, uh, brief time. Uh, that's uh, like an alternate way to get up here, but you don't... You can also take this row, which is probably harder to take because you're going to have to deal with the dry bones. Oh! Yeah, treadmills and spikes are the theme of this tower, in case you didn't realize that. Uh, this right here leads to coins. The other one leads to the main path. 
Uh, that's It's actually kind of obvious how this is set up because this pipe would not be able to bend because it's close by this pipe right here. So it, it actually hints at that, you know, which direction they're going to be firing off um, by that alone. And you want to be big when you go in here, so you got to duck and slide in there. Don't bother going out the top, just keep following the uh, um, uh, spike tops along. Yeah, see that? See how nice that works? Yeah, okay. <laughs> they eventually um, all corral, like, around this one block, because what they do is they go above this this platform here, and then they go straight through it when they come around again. So it, time is sort of of the essence to be able to easily get in there, because there's a larger gap when you get in there earlier than there is when you get in there later. But it's not impossible to get in there if you don't get in there early enough, but, because you know you go at about the same pace as the Buzzy Beetles anyway. Um, obviously you have two paths here. You can either take the cannon path, which is probably way, way easier, <laughs> like that. Get a bunch of coins, or you can take the spiky path, which I think I'm going to take for kicks. Okay, maybe it's not that much harder. <laughs> There's coins either way, I guess. Yeah, I think I think they're about equal in difficulty. Because those dry bones really aren't going to bother you either way. Alright, what you got this time? Huh, huh, huh. Oh, oh my. Oh dear. That means you're, sh you're throwing shells. Is that the case? I thought so. Ground pump. No, oh, maybe I should have did the ground pound after the uh, uh, first regular hit, because then I instantly destroyed him without having to worry about him getting more aggressive after two hits. I guess it didn't really matter overall. Xbox D-pad! You failed me! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I pressed down in midair. Oh, I was doing so well. So, so well. Made it here without taking a single hit. Yeah, this castle's not that difficult. It's just a matter of being patient. Rematch! With Koopa the Quick. No, not really. <laughs> you know, why am I not fireballing you? I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know that? You know that? You know that? Ha, how do you like that? <laughs> Woo! Completed. And he runs like a coward again. <laughs> so now we got two paths again. By the way, if you didn't notice, uh, didn't notice the alternate paths at the overworld have little um, brick roads instead of regular roads in comparison. Like they're colored brick roads. Not yellow brick roads, but yeah, brick roads. 6-5. Let's go. I'll uh, do the alternate path when I reach the uh, meetup point of sorts. Is there a there's probably a power-up in one of these suckers. This is a really odd-looking block formation, by the way. No power-ups? Are you serious? Wow. Well, whatever. <laughs> Swimming level time. And we're going to be introduced to Deep Cheeps, green versions of the Cheap Cheeps. They like to home in on you. And, yeah, they, they're not going to be very friendly to us, let me tell you. See that? Look at that. Oh, aggression! Aggression! But once you get past them... They stop chasing you for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, they're called Deep Cheeps. Then there is a larger version called a Mega Deep Cheap. Um, Fireball, if you have it, kind of trivializes the level again. And yeah, because you kind of stop the homing issue. Oh, help. Fish attack. Give me, give me, give me. Yes, got it. And also, there's a really, really obscure. Uh, secret in this level. By the way, um, in the original DS version, not the emulated version of this game here, those uh, flickering coin bubbles there, they don't flicker in the uh, actual game. It's, so it's a graphical error uh, through emulation. But it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, it just looks weird. <laughs> at least I don't think they flicker. Maybe they flicker so fast that you can't even tell due to the uh, uh, LCD screen slowness. <laughs> you know, the ghosting effect? We got a star run going on here. Uh, the stars are really close together here for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because the deep sheeps might not be um, at the same place each time. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. Uh, by the way, one of these um, whirlpools you actually got to go down into. Uh, one up. One up, one up, one up, 
Oh yeah! Could have got a two up there. Well, two one ups because I would have gotten the uh, another one if I would kill that other cheap cheap back there. But alas, I wanted to get. I mean, I want to make sure that I had the stars. Oh, this is a mean room. It doesn't look like it's a mean room, but it's a pretty mean room because you don't know where the deep cheaps are. Fireballs, much appreciated. <laughs> Go away, please. And the one that I'm looking for that I have to go down is this one right here, actually. It has bricks. Let's go right down into it. Yep. Other ones are death. So that one's pretty misleading, other than the fact that there are bricks around it. So I guess the bricks are the indication that it's different than the others. Here's the mega deep cheap. Yep. Just a bigger version of the deep cheap, but it's basically a deep cheap. It looks so, so silly when you knock it out. <laughs> Just floats so so casually and, and you know flip flops. You only got one shot to get this goal, yeah. And it's not a difficult to go goal to get. Yeah, that is indeed. And I think I'll do one more level here. Sounds like a good plan. I think so. Don't you think so? I think so. Oh, wait. Oh no. This is the one I think I need the mini mushroom for. So you know what? Not gonna do that one. <laughs> How do you like those apples? So I'm gonna take this alternate path to six uh, B. That also helped me save my. I mean, also save my game too. So it's a, that's a double bonus there. Avoiding an annoying mini mushroom level. Uh, please don't tell me I need a mini mushroom here too. No, I don't think so. Actually, this uh, these first two pipes. Red herrings. This one, cannon. And this this level can be pretty annoying to 100% because of the awkward jumps that you are um, that you're gonna have to deal with. You want shoot. You want a Koopa uh, for something? It's not here. It's, it's a later area. So be mindful of your fireballs. Do not just kill random Koopas just because. So grab that shell and throw it. Got it. Uh, if you don't have that, you're going to have to do a really tricky swing. Very, very low on this pole here, and it's really, really risky, and I don't recommend it. Return of the purple mushrooms! Whee! <laughs> oh, I should have just kept sliding, because this is a chain reaction. Oh! That would have been bad. <laughs> it was supposed to poop me out the um, right side, not the left side, but I think it didn't do it properly, because I didn't have enough speed. It um, as difficult as that jump, I mean, as one, that jump looks like it's, you only have one try at it, but if you respawn that Koopa, you don't have to worry about that. Whee! Here's the chain reaction I was thinking of. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is! <laughs> That's really well thought out. I mean, it's just perfectly timed. <laughs> You know, they, they gave just enough enemies and they knew that enemy would spawn right out of that pipe. It's just the perfect setup. Um, I really don't think I need anything from there. I could get a star, I guess, but... Eh, I don't know. Uh, the third... Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, all these pipes lead to different paths um, through this little alcove here. Yeah, I kind of cheated this little... Can I turn the other way and then... Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> um, so if you go in this one, it'll be shot out the no path. <laughs> this one I think is the lower path. Oh wait, maybe it's the higher path. Yeah, it's the higher path. And this is, this really doesn't help you, but it's kind of funny how he flops down face forward and he still makes these gaps until he gets to that one spot when uh, momentum wanes. And this one leads to the lower one that I sort of cheated my way through by duck jumping repeatedly to gain acceleration. Yeah, if you ever get stuck in something like that, just... Mash the uh, jump button while um, holding down in the direction you want to go to, and uh, you'll make it through. I hate timing myself on these because it's very risky. There's a coin up there and I'd like it. And there's, uh, this is also kind of funny here. Um, if you get in there, well, see those wooden blocks? Boom! <laughs> yep, 
once you get the coin, you get a free way out of there without having to um, slide back through here and... Oh jeez, what am I doing? Why did I jump that far ahead? <sighs> Alright, I made it. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no! Wait, isn't it safe to, like, go underneath them? Like, just to, to slide across the gap? Oh, that's how I could have got that coin back in World 1! Yeah, I forgot about that, like, you can do this. Ooh, like that, but then you kind of miss the opportunity to get in the flag, uh, get up to the top of the flagpole. Um, but yeah, I think the correct pipe is the one next to this one, and then it'll, it'll automatically shoot you over to the flagpole. So yeah, it's one of them, <laughs> and it'll guarantee you a one up. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part when I start the mini mushroom Hades over here at 6-6. Man, if there was one more 6, it would be appropriate for that mini mushroom run. Save!